guys, it's Boki here with Gigi's Fabric Shop, home to Juki Junkies, and we have a really much needed video for you guys today. We're gonna be comparing the F series model. So you may have seen our DX series versus the F series video. You may have even seen our DX7 series where we dissect all the different DX models. So this one is gonna be talking about the Juki F600, F400, and F300, knowing your differences and really, you know, deciding which one is your best fit. So let's dive into it. Right, so we're gonna start kind of, I always like to look at these machines at like a little triangle. So at the top of the triangle, we have the F600. Right in the middle, we have the F400. And then down at the bottom, we got the 300. And it really just varies on affordability um, and the accessories that you get, the amount of stitches that you get. So if you're somebody who is looking for a new machine and you maybe have a super basic model at home right now and you're ready to make that upgrade, you're kind of blossoming into sewing, this is gonna be a great series for you to go into because this machine gives you a lot for an amazing price point here. So let's start off at the top of the pyramid. We have the F600, okay? So this one's gonna come with the most accessories. It's gonna come with the most bells and whistles and um, just um, the most bang for you buck. So um, as of right now, the prices on these machines are subject to vary, but as of this current moment, this machine goes for $11.99. So it's a really nice price point and you get a lot with it. So this machine comes with 225 stitches, including four different fonts. So you can you know, make some custom labels, write handmade by Boki or handmade by whoever or I love you or whatever you want to do it's going to give you that option just so you guys know and you can follow along with me I'm actually using um, the comparison chart that we have on our website so if you go to jukijunkies.com right under machines you'll see a section that says machine comparisons and there's a lot of comparisons there so this is what I'm using to kind of you know give you all the tips and tricks if you want to follow along this is available to you guys so 225 stitches has a beautiful automatic buttonhole. This machine series is going to be awesome for my um, garment sewers as well. So like if you're somebody who wants to get into apparel, um, you do a little bit of apparel, you do a little bit of crafting. This is a really nice series for that. And if you want to better understand the differences of why maybe going with the DX7 versus the F series, check out that other video. We'll go ahead and link it in the description for you guys, but that's going to be helpful to really understand those differences. Um, next up, this machine is going to come with the most accessories. So 17 accessories, lots, lots of accessories in there. And I'll give you guys a visual at the end of this video on exactly everything that comes with each machine so you can see it. I'll kind of go over it verbally, but it's nice to physically see all that these machines have to offer. Um, so some things that this machine has over these machines is it's gonna have the best lighting over the two. It's gonna have two LED lights. It's gonna have one in the um, throat space area, which is huge, and then one right over the needle area, whereas the other two machines only have one. So that's a really big key feature on this one. Um, next feature that I really wanted to highlight was the front of the machine. So let's go over some of the buttons that are on the face of the machine. I'm gonna use this little cleaning swab to show you guys here. So here is the face of the machine. Okay, so this is where you would navigate through. Um, the F600 has these dialing systems, whereas the F400 and the 300 have just physical buttons. Um, so like kind of like these buttons down here, these have dials for you to be able con to control stitch length and stitch width. Let's talk about some features right here. These are gonna be shared across all models. So we have our speed control right here, all right? We have needle up and down, which is your needle threader's best friend. We have a thread cutter. We have a reverse button and we have our start stop function, which allows you to sew on the machine without the foot pedal. All right, we got our bobbin winder right up here. We got our tension control right here. We got our presser foot pressure control right in the back side of this machine. And then of course the cover is gonna show you all of those stitches that it comes with. So that's gonna be one thing that's very, very similar across all the machines. Same buttons, same uh, kind of setup there. Of course the stitches will change throughout, but they're all threaded the same, bobbin winders the same and kind of the general setup of this machine is the same and the skeleton is the same. So let's talk about that throat space really quick because that's something that I get asked pretty frequently. What do we got working on here? We have an eight inch throat space, okay, by 4.4, so almost four and a half inches tall. That's gonna be shared on all of the models here. Also, we're working with a stitch um, speed, a maximum sewing speed of 900 stitches per minute. That'll be shared across the board, okay? Um, so we got that there. Another really um, exclusive thing to the F600 is gonna be that it comes with a extension table. Um, so that's something that you could always purchase later down the line, but if you're somebody who likes the extension table, which is really great for my quilters 
or anything that tends to drape uh, that has a lot of weight to it, that extension table is really going to help you just keep everything from dragging and, and you know pulling at the machine. So you can always purchase those with these models. Let's see if I'm missing anything here. I don't think so. Um, Follow the comparison chart. Uh, it talks about the pivot function and the floating function as well. Those are exclusive to the DX series. So check out that video if you want to know what those are. But um, we'll go over accessories here. But that's really what this machine has to offer. This is a beautiful computerized machine. Very easy learning curve in my opinion. I like to let people know that. Um, the screen is relatively small. So really on the screen, all you're doing there is just communicating with the machine what you want to do. So if I want to make my stitches longer, shorter, wider, um, when you change the stitches, it'll tell you what foot needs to be on the machine. So you can't really make any boo-boos there. Um, so it's kind of general things on the screen, not too much to go through. So if you're kind of scared about that, don't be because the, this, it's not to dip too difficult at all. So that's the F600. We're going to go over those accessories in a little bit. Let's kind of dive into the 400 and see what makes this machine a little bit more affordable if you have a tighter budget and what this machine has that didn't come on that one. <laughs> Now moving on to the F400, you'll notice up here that the stitches are going to change. You do get a little bit less stitches with this machine, so versus the 225 that came with the F600, here you move down to 157 and three different fonts versus the four that you got on the 600. So remember, this machine gets a little bit more affordable than the F600 as of right now. The price on this machine is $899, so that's going to be a really nice price point for a lot of us. The throat space stays the same, the height stays the same, really the same functionality, all the buttons, your needle threader, um, everything else stays the exact same, but a couple things start to differ. So 17 accessories on this model, you only get 13 here. Remember, you can always purchase those accessories down the road, but um, that is something that you get less of, you get 13 accessories. LED lighting, we talked about that on the F600. You got two over here, you only get one on this machine now, and that's something that's right here. I always like to kind of highlight some features that are not upgradable. So like accessories, you can always upgrade to, right? But LED lights, you can't. What, what's on the machine is on the machine, right? So that's something to, to keep in mind, because if you're a quilter, the lighting is gonna make a very big difference. If you're a detail-oriented kind of sewer, you're doing appliques or you know even detailed garment sewing, the lighting is gonna make a huge Huge difference. So keep that in mind because that's something that you can't upgrade to. You can't buy better lighting unless you get like a strip of light or something like that. Okay. Um, the dialing system is a little different now. You'll notice that here now we have buttons. Like on the F600, we had those dials. So those dials, you know, change the stitch width and the stitch length. Now they're just little physical buttons that you would click. So that's really the only cosmetic difference between the two machines. And that's going to stay cohesive on the 300 as well. Um, so those 13 accessories, the weight, by the way, I did want to talk about how heavy these machines are because people tend to ask me that as well. So these machines are about 22 pounds. Okay. All three of them are the same weight. So they're not tremendously heavy. Uh, these are going to be great travel machines as well. Something that'll last you a long time. Um, not too much weight to them. So 22 pounds there. Okay. Um, you do lose the extension table on this machine, like I mentioned, but it's something that you can purchase down the line. If you really wanted to, all those parts accessories, extension tables are available to you guys at jukijunkies.com if you have one of these machines and you would like to purchase them. I did want to talk about the knee lifter really quick because the knee lifter is something that comes with this machine and this. So the F600 and the 400 both come with the knee lifter. Um, that's that mechanism that plugs in right to the front of the machine and you can control the presser foot uh, going up and down with the knee lifter. Um, this doesn't come with the 300, so we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Um, but that's really about it, you guys. Everything else stays exactly the same. Still 900 stitches per minute. We just got those less accessories, less built-in stitches, and um, no lighting and no extension table. So that's really about that. But if this is closer in your price point, you're not losing any capabilities, right? I always like to let people know, like, you're not losing any strength, any power, anything like that. Just a couple things that make it different. So now let's talk about the most affordable sibling in the bunch, the F300. Right, so now at the bottom of the pyramid, which is the F300. Um, this machine is gonna be the most affordable out of the three. Um, as of right now, the price is $679, okay? Uh, we get 106 built-in stitches on this machine, which is still a really nice variety, and you still get some fonts. So you get three fonts um, on this machine as well. So that's really, really nice. Um, we get six accessories on this machine. So 
here we had 13, here we had 17, now we're back to six. So really those things are gonna start adding the value or making it more affordable. You lose that knee lifter. So the knee lifter that I showed you guys, um, on these two models, you do lose this. Some people love this and they have to use it religiously. Again, something that you could purchase if you really felt like you needed it. Um, if that was really the only thing that was holding you back between the differences. Um, LED lights, still we got that one light here and here. Me and David are gonna put the machines next to one another and plug them in so you can see the difference in the light. I think that'll be a really nice visual for you guys. Um, same kind of system of navigating through the machine. We got those buttons, so no more dials, but everything else still has stayed the same. You know, everything, all the bells and whistles, those speed control, needle up and down, reverse stitch, lock stitch, all that is still the same. All right, let's see if I'm missing anything here. And the differences are really subtle between the three. Um, so that's really about it. You do still lose the extension table on here, but the nice thing on these machines as well that I wanna cover is that you do still have a free arm. So uh, when you pull this little cover off, you do have a nice free arm and you can imagine if you're a garment sewer, this is gonna be very, very helpful to you uh, having that capability to put sleeves, putting a smaller, tighter project in there or a pocket or something like that. You have that range there to put that. And then of course the little cover opens up and you have your accessories in here. You'll find your um, button hole at the bottom of the cover too. So just so you guys know, when you like unpackage these machines, it, there's a lot of accessories in that compartment. Okay, it comes just like that from the factory. So here's your buttonhole system. And I, when I tell you this is a very professional style buttonhole system, garment sewers, you will love this plugs into the machine. When you lift this, there's a stabilizing plate which the fabric goes under here. Most of the time for machines that are kind of in this price point, you don't get a very nice buttonhole like this. It's literally just a little piece of plastic that sits right on top of the fabric. This is a whole upgrade. So now you have to put the fabric on the inside, stabilize it, and then do those buttonholes that are customizable. So it's really, really awesome. I, I admire that they kept this because I, I thought this was only gonna be something that you would get on the DX series. So that is something to admire. So let's go ahead and get some visuals here so we can see what each machine comes with and let's compare the lighting. All right, you guys, so here they are, all plugged in, turned on, ready to go. Let's look at that lighting really quick. So here is the F600. You got that LED light right up here. And then of course, right over your stitch area, very well lit and illuminated. This is actually the same lighting you get on the DX series. And then we look at the F400, which the lighting is gonna be the same on the 300 and the four. So you see we're missing that top lighting, but we do have that stitch area still illuminated. So enjoy that. I know lighting is something that's super important. So I just wanted to give you guys that visual. Guys, so let's do that quick visual of all the things that come with the machines. We're gonna start off with the F600, but before we do that, I do wanna let you guys know, because sometimes we like forget to say it, we're an authorized Juki dealer, you guys. So if you are looking for a new sewing machine, you're looking for parts, you're looking for needles, you're looking for anything that you need, head over to jukijunkies.com you guys. It's a very great website. We have some blog posts, those machine comparisons I talked about in the beginning, all the machines. So check that out. Okay. So let's start off with the machine cover. This machine cover comes with all the machines and I admire this feature about them because it's very sturdy. It has that compartment in the front so you can put your manual, your knee lifter, your uh, foot pedal and the power cord. Very easy to transport. And then of course the handle up here. It's awesome. So of course, starting off strong, the knee lifter that comes with the F600 and the 400 doesn't come with the 300. We'll get that visual later. All right, I wanted to show you guys how I store the accessories. I have this little tackle box that I like to label and mark everything. So that's a fun little way to keep yourself organized and see if you're missing anything. I'm gonna be using it to remember which part is what. Um, so let's talk about those 17 accessories. So we started with the knee lifter. You're gonna get a set of twin needles with this machine. That's gonna be so great for all my garment sewers out there. You're gonna love that. Along with that, you're gonna get the auxiliary spool pin. So this kind of works hand in hand with those twin needles to be able to set up that second spool of thread. We have the eyelet punch. We have the walking foot with the walking foot guide bar, which is really easy to install. This little screw back here, you just loosen up and then you can set your guide. And then whenever you're happy with the length, you tighten it up and it's just like that. So we have the standard presser foot that comes on all three models. We have the zipper foot. We have the over casting foot. We have the blind stitch foot, that awesome buttonhole contraption, which I love dearly. <laughs> we have that, um, they call this the manual buttonhole foot. I usually call this the satin stitch foot because it's a plastic foot. You, cut, you actually get a smooth presser foot with this machine, which honestly kind of baffled me because for some reason I thought it didn't come with it, but it does. <laughs> we have the edge 
sewing foot, the open toe foot, great for decorative stitches and all those fonts that you want to use to have that clear view. Patchwork presser foot, which is kind of like a two-in-one foot. I absolutely love this foot. We should do just a video on this. And then you have a free motion quilting foot that you get with this too. So you really have such a large variety uh, with this. And then don't forget, you get that extension table with this machine as well. All right, so there's that visual, you guys. Let's do the next F400. All right, you guys, here's that table set up on these machines. So this extension table is only gonna come with the F600 and the 400. You can see how this adds a nice little workspace here for you. So just so you see what that looks like. All right, moving on to the F400 now. We start off with that hardcover again. That's gonna be universal across the board. Knee lifter starting us off strong. This machine comes with those 13 accessories versus 17 on the F600. So there's that. So let's lift this up so we can see the machine. All right. So here we have the standard presser foot. We have that buttonhole system, the manual buttonhole foot. I always get these two confused because literally they look like the exact same. One of these is the overcasting and one of them is the blind stitch foot. And being a quilter, I don't really use these very much. So you do get those. <laughs> You're gonna get that zipper foot. You get that walking foot with the bar as well. We get our patchwork presser foot. We get that free motion quilting foot and the twin needle set with the auxiliary pin. So those are your 13 accessories that you get with the F400. And then here is that F400 set up with the extension table that comes with it as well. All right, last but not least, we have the F300. So again, that hard cover. You do not get the knee lifter with this machine, so keep that in mind. That's something that you could purchase later down the line. So once we take that hard cover off, we've got the beautiful machine, all right? And then as far as accessories go, you're only gonna get six accessories here. You don't get the extension table. That is something you can purchase as well. So check out jukijunkies.com for all those accessories, all right? Starting off strong, we have that standard presser foot that we talked about, that awesome buttonhole contraption, which I think was very nice that they included because that is a very price costly part. Um, we have the manual buttonhole foot, AKA the satin stitch foot, I call it. We got that, um, uh, overcasting and blind stitch foot here and then we have the zipper foot as well so that's all that you get with this machine now do keep in mind you're going to get a couple extra things like a little cleaning brush a t-screwdriver um you know little maintenance things you're going to get a little pack of assorted needles as well so that kind of comes on all the machines um, but it doesn't count as those core accessories that really matter to all of us so there is that you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was definitely something we needed to do so now we have like the perfect series of videos we have the comparison on the DX models we have the comparison on the F series models and then we have like what makes the two different so check out those videos if you're on the market for a new machine and remember you can go over to jukijunkies.com at any time to look at these machines see the prices uh, get accessories anything like that so make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video we do like to post videos as often as possible so when you subscribe it'll let you know when a new video is up so I hope this has kind of made you you know understand maybe the difference between the F series figure out which one would be better for you you know it comes down to accessories it comes down to that lighting to the table and things that you can and can't live without so if you have any further questions if this you know hasn't answered all your questions that's totally okay feel free to pick up the phone and give us a call at 813-661-9000 and we'd love to chat with you to make sure you're making the right choice for yourself or you can feel free to send us an email if that's your preferred method of communication it's sewingmachines411 at gmail.com send us your questions over and we'll be more than happy to help you and of course lastly make sure you guys if you have this machine i want to know what's your favorite thing about this machine tell me which f series you have or if you're considering it if you have any questions we try to do most customer service through phone calls and emails so make sure you do that that's the best way we can assist you but down below i want to know what's your favorite thing about this machine because this is a great machine she offers a lot for you so make sure you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you next time